<sighs> Hi! I got some requests. Well, I'd seen some things that I kind of wanted to try anyway, and they kind of fell in the same group as some, some requests that I had. A couple of you have been asking me to do some beer reviews. I can't just do normal beers. I have to do wacky beers, because I eat wacky things. So, first of all, hello to all the subscribers that have been hanging out forever. Hello to all the new subscribers. Got a couple of new ones. Um, what do we have? This is from the Iron Horse Brewery. Um, in Ellensburg, Washington. Local beer. Um, this is called uh, <laughs> Quilter's Irish Death. <laughs> nice name for a beer. Skull and crossbones and all that kind of stuff. It says dark smooth ale. I like beers that... I like darker beers. I, I, don't, I mean, I, beer is beer, but... I like uh, darker stuff. If you hold it up to the light, you can't see light through it. There you go. It's a keeper. Give this guy a smell. Smells good. Um, I got a couple of them to do today, but I'm not going to do them all at the same time because then the video is kind of long and people get cranky when they sit for long periods of time. So I'll just do three short ones. This is uh, passing my color test. Too bad, not too foamy. Smells good. Smells kind of chocolatey. Oh, that's actually really good. I like the kind of the the smoky chocolatey flavor you get with the darker beers like this. Um, Yeah, not really much on the label. Other than, drinking too much is bad. Yeah, whatever. Um, <coughs> oh, I kind of like this. I'm not a huge beer drinker, but um, I, I <laughs> take that back. You drink what you get. Um, I had somebody that I worked with one time that said, if you're going to operate heavy, heavy machinery, drink Coors Light. <laughs> <coughs> um, sometimes like, I don't like the giant bottles because sometimes you don't feel like down in like what are these 24 ounces or 30 ounces or whatever it is, 20 ounce. Uh, sometimes it's a lot for one sitting. It's going to be a lot for three tastings. So, I don't know. We'll see. But I really like this has a nice pleasant smell. Uh, sometimes they get kind of kind of bitter. I don't like the like the really bitter beers. Uh, but this isn't bad. This is this is pretty smooth. It's it's got a lot of good flavor. I'm not sure why they call it Quilter's Irish Death. That's kind of a harsh name. Um, I don't taste any death in there at all. But, it got me because I picked it up because of the name. Otherwise, I probably would have walked right on by. <coughs> I don't know anybody that's, that's had this before, so I don't have anything to compare it to. But, uh, so far, I, it's a keeper. It's a thumbs up. Tasty. Well, there you go. I got this from BevMo. You could probably get it in BevMo's all over the place, even though this is bottled in Washington. It's probably in California, Oregon, like that. But, uh, yeah, give it a try. If you like dark beers, it's pretty good. Pretty tasty. Um, well, there you have it. Little shorties. We'll do a couple of shorties and then call it good. Um, 